Well, g'day from the Berrima International Horse Trials held right here in the beautiful Southern Highlands of New South Wales. I'm Hamish Cargill and I've just finished my dressage test on the lovely Tahoe. Let me put him away and I'll tell you a little bit about this fantastic event. This is the 20th year of the Berrima Horse Trials. Since 1998, they've been running as an international level event, all under the guidance of Dr. Vince Roach and his fabulous committee. You can take a great venue, add a fantastic committee and 400 competitors, but you still don't have an event until you've got your sponsors. We really have got some phenomenal supporters this weekend. The Briars Country Inn, Tertini Wines, The Animal Company, Highland Drilling, and many other super sponsors that are making this event what it is. When you put on an event as good as this, you tend to get all the best riders and horses. And in the CIC three-star class this weekend, we certainly have seen that. It's a truly international class this weekend. Blair Richardson and New Zealand are competing here on two horses in the three-star class. And then it's all experience. Heath Ryan, Craig Barrett, Chris Burton, and one newcomer to three-star level, Sam Fasher. In the CIC two-star class, it's a mixed bag this weekend of experience versus the up-and-coming young riders. In the one-star class, it's a big field, but given my dressage test already, I reckon they'll be out there chasing me. While this is an international event held at an elite level, let's not forget that 40% of the entries here this weekend are from junior riders, many of them locals to the Southern Highlands. Of course, this is fantastic for the future of the sport. There's plenty to see out there. Let's go and have a look at some of the action from the weekend. Dressage is the first phase of the one day event and it's a true test of harmony between horse and rider. At all levels from introductory to three star, each level has their own dressage test and these get progressively harder as the riders go through the grades from intro through to three star. At intro level, it's basic walk, trot and canter, while at three star, we're introducing things like flying changes, shoulder in and half bath. Very difficult movements unless you're on an extremely well trained horse. Hi there, I'm Heath Ryan and this is um, Mystery Whisper and uh, we've just won the dressage here at Berrima One Day Event, CIC. Really good spot to be. Um, it, it, this is a great event and we're just winding up for the final trials for the World Equestrian Games later this year. So events like Berrima, um, they're, they're the backbone of Australian eventing. Uh, they're the backbone of uh, guys getting ready for Olympics and World Equestrian Games. Well, as you can see, eventing is a tough sport no matter what the phase. And you can see that show jumping, as much as anything, is a test of the horse's honesty, carefulness, and really their wanting and ability to listen to the rider. Hi, I'm Chris Burton. Here we are at beautiful Berrima Horse Trials, only an hour and a half from Sydney in the beautiful Southern Highlands. So um, out having our, having our practice run or having our runs for one day eventing and uh, really enjoying the beautiful weather. There's a huge number of, um, of juniors entered in this event and indeed um, people entering in the lower grades. And it's really exciting, you know, there's, there's a great number of up and coming young riders there that are going to keep us professionals on our toes, that's for sure. Cross country. We're about to get underway here and I can tell you what, there's a few hearts fluttering as a riders prepare to jump these big, imposing and very scary obstacles out here on the property at Araluan. We're here at fence 11 of the One Star Course. It's a reasonably sized vertical in here, a real rider frightener. Riders need to keep committed here to get their horses to jump in because they can't see what's on the other side of the rail. And what we can see here is that there's a quite a big coffin there, not quite as deep as you might see, but certainly wide enough before they go one stripe up and over another vertical out. This is what they call a fly here at Berrima, and it's a big ramp up to what is, and always has been, a very big ditch and brush. And I tell you what, as you come up here, your heart rate is definitely going. You definitely got your leg on and you are hoping like hope that your horse is going to jump well over it.
it's great to be back here at Barima. They've really put in a lot of effort to run a, a good event for us. Uh, we need the events and it's been really well supported with entries. Uh, it's great, they've gone to the effort to put in the new show jumping arena, which has really made a big difference for us, being able to come here and show jump on a nice flat surface and around a really well designed track. Uh, the cross country course, there's always little changes happening, which are great to see, sort of new jumps to have to think about as a rider and test us out. So it's, it's really good to be back here and hopefully it all goes well. So here we are with Robert K from Tertini Wines. Robert, how have you felt the weekend's going? A big sponsor here, one yes. of the major sponsors here at yeah. the Verimer International One Day event. How have you felt the weekend's gone for you? Well, it's been very successful from a competitor's point of view and we've enjoyed it as well. We've had uh, a lot of interest shown in our, our tasting booth. We've got some real fans amongst the uh, competitors and the, and the spectators alike. Well, it's certainly been well appreciated here by all the riders, by the organising committee. Certainly been a sensational event and it's made more so by your support at from Tertini Wine. Right, so thank, thank you very much. Good, thanks, Andy. Thanks, Robert. Thank you. Here we are with Blair Richardson, winner of the Briars Country in CIC Three Star here at the Berham International One Day Event. Blair, fantastic cross country round to win this class in some of the most horrendous Southern Highlands conditions that you can imagine. How was it out there? Oh look, I've never ridden in rain or hail like it before and I was one handed, other hand up to try and get the hail out of my face as I went along. So. Um, it was a new experience for me to be riding in conditions like that. Overall, Blair, how have you felt the events gone? You thought it's been a successful weekend down in the Highlands? Yeah, look, I think it's been great. And the good thing about this event is it's great to see so many juniors, so many younger uh, horses and, and competitors at this competition um, because this is this is the base of, of where the horses for the Olympic Games. Um, come from, so it's good to see so many young riders and horses here. It's been a fantastic weekend of eventing. Blair Richardson did an astonishing job in some of the wilder Southern Highlands weather. Winners in the CIC two-star class, Natalie Blundell and Algebra from Harden, and Andrew Cooper and Guest of Honor winner in the CIC one-star. It really has been a sensational weekend of eventing here in the Southern Highlands. Fantastic event, very well run, an excellent committee holding it all together. We saw a little bit of wild Southern Highlands weather late on Sunday and that did affect the three-star cross country, but I tell you what, it was still a great competition. Thanks to all the sponsors, all the competitors, they've travelled far and wide to get here. It has been fantastic. We'll see you next time. I'm Hamish Garg, we'll see you somewhere out there.